The area around Cambridge Bay is home to some of the largest Arctic char on Earth, with big fish routinely pushing 20 pounds. The largest ever Arctic char, weighing over 32 pounds, was caught on a river between here and Kugluktuk, the next community to the west. Every year in July, the Arctic char swim down the rivers and out into the ocean to feed. And every year, people from Cambridge Bay congregate at these rivers to fish. One particular river, Kitchigak River, which flows from Kitchigak Lake out into Wellington Bay to the west, is an ideal location to fish with traditional guppy bucks. And each year, many people take the two and a half hour ATV ride out to camp there and fish over the July long weekend. the drive to Kitchigak River is along beautiful smooth sandy beach, which you might not expect to see in the Arctic. The other half though is not so smooth. Regardless, this is my favorite drive in the summer. The combination of the hills on the one side and clear blue ocean on the other is incredible, particularly when the sun's out. There's a spot about two kilometers up the river where the shallow depth makes it easier to spot fish, and there's a large flat area that's perfect to set up tents. This is the spot that people usually go to, but there are other good fishing spots along the river. Fishing with a guckiwak takes incredible patience and skill, but is extremely effective once mastered. This is a traditional method of fishing that has been used since Inuit first arrived here a thousand years ago, and for this reason only Inuit are allowed to use guckiwaks today. Just down the river from the weir is a slower, deeper stretch of water that's good for casting. This is where two years ago a friend of ours caught a 17.2 pound char, which became the world record for the line class that he used, and where that same friend previously caught a 22 pound char, which, had the application been submitted within the IGFA's time frame, would have been the world record for the largest Arctic char ever caught on a fly fishing rod. <laughs> That is a good size. Woo. I find it sketchy with this. It just seems topic, I don't really think it is. It seems I don't know. I like to drive as fast as we can go from the fly. 
I usually stay with friends at a small fishing lodge at the mouth of the river, which I'll introduce in a later video. This spot has a beautiful view of the ocean in the Nuna and is a fantastic spot to watch the sunset over the hills across Wellington Bay. During the char run in July, the sea ice is only melted near the shore, but farther road is still a few feet thick and very safe to walk on. Just two months after coming down the river to feed in the ocean, the char swim back up in late August or early September. After that time spent feeding, the fish are fat and full and are less likely to strike at a spoon lure, though fly fishing seems to be just as effective. These two char runs are the start and end of the short Arctic summer here in Cambridge Bay and give this place its traditional name, Ikalakchuchiak, which in Inuinaktun means place of many fish.